Today is Thanksgiving here in Canada, a day when we often reflect on the things we're thankful for. And often things like family and health are thought of. We're thankful for living in a peaceful nation, for having friends, and for the luxuries that we take for granted most other days of the year. Well, I don't do holy days, and tradition for tradition's sake is something I abhor and avoid whenever possible. I say live each day equally. Treat the people the same every day. And you don't have to set aside special sanctioned days to be extra special nice to people. Consistency is my life's mantra. But this Thanksgiving, when others were reflecting on the old standards of health, wealth, and happiness, I reflected a little more cosmically on things to be thankful for. I'm thankful to live in a time when access to the heights of information is in the hands of the masses. Places like YouTube are where this newfound intellectual freedom of sorts lives and thrives. And from that line of thinking, I'm thankful that we live in a universe 13.7 billion years old. I'm thankful that our universe has characteristics that allow for the formation of the basic building blocks and their interactions. I'm thankful that after multiple generations of stars forming and dying, that a star formed most likely from a cloud of material some four and a half billion years ago. I'm thankful that of the planets that form from that same disk within the next 500 million years, one of those planets formed in a zone not too hot not too cold, but just right to allow water, the universal solvent and one of the most abundant molecules in the cosmos, to be in that small range of temperature where it is liquid. I'm thankful that the early Earth was then seemingly barraged by water-bearing comets. I'm thankful that because of a happy coincidence of time and place, chemical and molecular evolution had the chance to mix and randomly experiment until an early replicator was formed. And from one of these early replicators, the ancestor of all life as we know it. I'm thankful that after many other global extinction events, 65 million years ago, a meteor crashed into the Yucatan Peninsula, wiping out the dinosaurs that had dominated for hundreds of millions of years allowing the mammals living in the undergrowth to emerge and flourish. Any of these things could have been different, from the interactions of the basic particles to a slight course correction of a meteor, and I would not be here today to have anything to be thankful for. This is where the beauty of the anthropic principle comes in. It gives some importance, some meaning to these events, to these quirks of nature. It tells us that the universe is the way it is, looks the way it looks, because that's how things look in a universe that allows for observers to ask these sorts of questions. I'm thankful that of all the possible universes, there can exist a universe where its inhabitants can be thankful. I'm thankful that humans are such a curious creature. Indeed, it is this curiosity perhaps that has most closely led to our rise in power and nature's fall from grace. There's much to be thankful for.